part of my Dragon Priest program, the current position and that we're in, is bringing up controversial issues. There is a black racism movement coming to America. And it's coming fairly quickly because what we see in the streets and what I see around me are people who are practicing hatred and disregard for people like me. When I say these things, it doesn't help me. It actually puts me at greater risk, and I'm aware of that. But all throughout our nation's history, we have always been at risk for becoming the minority in America instead of the majority in America. You see, the black agenda started long ago of long young people procreating early so that there'd be more blacks in America. We also have black men and black women who pursue white men in order to mix the races and in order to keep their places. There is nothing wrong with that love across cultural divides. But what can go wrong often does. That the gentleman caller often leaves the house and the woman is left with biracial children who are somewhat confused about whether they're black or white or something different. And that's hard for them amongst their friends. On the one hand, they learn how to speak white, and on the other hand, they learn how to be black. And isn't that marvelous they get that cross-cultural education? Because most of us struggle with what to say and what to do when we're facing an impoverished mindset. Aren't you? Aren't you concerned? Now, I don't mean that in an inappropriate white supremacist way. What I mean is that in the world today, we have to produce peace. And sometimes peace is created by the intermixing of races. That is absolutely true. My bicultural family was a marvelous thing in my life until it was lost, without reproof. But there are people in an extended family that destroy relationships, for me or for you. There are people in a community that abuse people like me, as if a stranger has the right to do that, and they don't. And isn't that true? America is becoming more violent is not true. America is becoming more tolerant of violence, and that is true. There have long been psychological studies about how people react to violence. It is almost something that is programmed within our DNA, that killing gene. And I don't mean it as that we're breeding killers. What I mean is that people become less and less available to be compassionate the more violence they see on television. They will say, well, that's just the age. Well, that's just that community. Well, that's the impoverished mindset. No, it's an abomination to the Lord. You see, the Lord loves diversity. He loves variety. And he has the right to create all kinds of people, whether they're good or someone with no variety. But in life, we have to understand what is and isn't acceptable under the law. And too many people are raising children not knowing anything about that at all. They are so dumb about federal laws that they actually put themselves in jail because of their stupidity of what is and isn't their rights today. American law protects all of our relationships and all of our rights in the world. It allows us to travel freely and be free in our hearts, minds, and souls. But there's always someone in a family who is hell-bent on becoming the power monger of a family. But usually what it ends up doing is destroying the love in a family, ruining the forefathers' foundations, and literally obliterating of man's heritage, history, and character that's put together that family in the first place. 